This is a long video, so you better have some food ready if you're gonna watch the whole thing. After 14 hours of flight, we finally made it to China. That was my bro Derek, my bro Terrence there, working hard getting us a taxi, and we're on our way. The taxi man was very nice. He gave us some water bottles to quench my thirst. So we're on our way to a uh, Toy Story Hotel. We're actually going to Disney Shanghai. So I've never been there. I've always heard about the Tron ride. So yeah, I'm a child, but I love riding roller coasters and Tron looks awesome. We're all excited. I'm very excited. And then we're going to Disneyland tomorrow, but today we're gonna actually go to this Michelin restaurant in Shanghai. I think it's called the Pashu and La Familia. Probably butchered it, but stay tuned for some photos because I took some photos and I'm gonna post it on this video. So we made it to the Toy Story Hotel. I don't have any uh, photos or anything or video footages of the room, but Terrence hooked us up. Thank you, Terrence, for getting us a room with a, uh, a nice view of the uh, Magic Kingdom castle. So in a second, you'll see a footage of the castle from our room. All right, well, he's making fun of me. There it is, yeah. Look at that. Very cool. So now we're heading to Yuyuan Garden. And if you go to Shanghai, you have to visit Yuyuan Garden. I mean, it's the place to go for tourists like myself. First stop, Yuyuan Garden. Spotted a Chinese McDonald's, and I wanted to try their durian chicken nuggets, but we didn't have time. Terrence is saying gaijin because he's racist. No, I'm kidding. Got ourselves some heart-shaped butter cookies. These smelled so good from the front, so we had to get these. And then Terrence started getting, like, random stuff for us. So, I don't know what this was, but it was like a scallion pancake, but like a dry one. It was very good huge and then we lost Terrence for a while and then he came back and brought us some uh, durian mochi it's very good just really hot though uh, we didn't buy anything from this store but um I thought Terrence was arguing so I just wanted to like film that There's like a lot of tour groups going around. I feel like we could have just joined them there. Been like, hey, we don't know anything either. But that's okay, we got Derek and T-Boy. Definitely come here at night because the lights make this place pop. Now we're at the Michelin star restaurant. So excited, pretty tired, very hungry. Starting off with some longan. Then we had some meatball soup. We got two of those, very good. And then we had this red dish, which was a lotus root with some sweet berry sauce on top. It was very good. Then we finished it off with some crab cream tofu. It was phenomenal. Now we're at the bun, and you can see the Oriental Pearl Tower. I think these are banks on the side here. It's so 
big. So now we're on day two in Shanghai Disneyland. I'm so excited. So we stayed at Toy Story Hotel, and the benefit of that is that we got to enter the park 30 minutes before everybody else. This helped us a lot for photos. Check these out. See, we got this close to the castle without waiting. It's great. Highly recommend it. Now on Tomorrowland. Not sponsored by Disney, but another good reason to stay at Disney Hotel is that you can ride the rides without waiting until the park opens because no one's there. It's great. We got to ride Tron twice with no wait at all. And then there's a second part to this Tron ride, and it's called Tron Realm. And there's like Chevrolet designed uh, futuristic Tron cars. So it's pretty cool. I like this part. So the downside of getting in early is that, well, if you're hungry, you're screwed because the Market Cafe and all the restaurants are not open till it's officially open. So try not to be hangry. Then we went on this uh, jetpack carousel. Pretty fun. The food there wasn't that great, but I mean, it's cute. Derek being a paparazzi here, spying on the ducks. <laughs> Pirates of the Caribbean is the best ride at the park. So if you get a chance to come here, you have to ride this. You have to. I'm gonna hunt you down. My second favorite attraction is the Discover Bay. It's like a rope course. And yeah, it gets pretty fun at the end. So I recommend it. So I learned that Disney Shanghai designed the Magic Castle so that people can go up the castle, which is really cool because the other ones don't allow that. And when we went up there, there's this Snow White story that you can follow. And our last attraction we went on was Rex's Racer. And we literally waited, I think, an hour and a half or like two hours. And I don't think it's worth that long of a wait, but it was pretty fun. But uh, yeah, it's up to you, man. Lastly, we watched the light show and the fireworks go, and it was amazing, of course. Can't miss that. So this wraps up for Disneyland Shanghai and I recommend it for anybody that's a fan of Disney and who has spare time in Shanghai because this is really cool. It's uh, much different from other Disneyland. So check it out. Welcome to the future. 
and we finished the day off with some Chinese fast food. It was so good. Day three in Shanghai, we're headed to the French concession. We look fucking tired, but we're really excited. Then we were able to see the Shanghai Flatiron Building. No, it's called the Wukang Mansion and uh, there are apartments inside. So these homes are owned by political figures, actors, it's famous people. So it's a well-known area and it's also well known to be one of the most expensive areas in China. So keep in mind, this info is from Terence and Derek, so it might not be accurate. So the security is good, as you can tell, this guy's like, hey, watching you, Tsuruda. So they're like ADT on steroids. So there are a lot of people taking their wedding photos here. I mean, why not? It's a very beautiful place. And what's better to do than photobomb them? No, I'm kidding. I won't do that. I'm not an asshole. After walking a couple blocks, we found coffee shops. Stopped at one of them. It was called Cafe de Vulcan. And uh, yeah, I think it won an award. So we tried the just iced coffee and it was really good. Approved. And they use paper straws, which I am a fan of. So after drinking a lot of coffee, we started getting hungry. So we ended up going here. It's like a chain restaurant. I think it's Cantonese, but it was one of my favorites. Uh, there's another restaurant we went to in Hangzhou that I'm going to show you. But uh, yeah, this is a great place. Highly recommended. Very good. Go ahead. Serve. That's a service. That's a service. So for dessert, we ended up going here. It's actually like a tea shop. And uh, what we got was this uh, fresh strawberry tea with some cheese on top. It looks like this. It's really good. It's like drinking a cheesecake. So now we're on our way to the Shanghai Rail Station. So we're going to go from Shanghai to Jiaxing to meet my friend for her wedding. Yeah. Look at this. They have a map for vacant toilets. That's nuts. But I didn't realize how many people were actually here or how big this place was. Look at this shot. This is how many people are there. So we had to calm ourselves down with some KFC. So after a few hours, we made it to Hangzhou and we're on a taxi to get to the uh, restaurant that they're at. So we finally made it and we were eating, we met up with some friends and we're eating some good food. Then we went to a bar called Grain Bar. We had some drinks. We made some friends on the way back. Day four. So now we're on our way to the wedding and it would be my first time attending a Chinese wedding.
Derek showing us all the drinks. Got chocolates. So everybody's names on the board. The only name that was in English was Ruby's. Oh, this video is awesome. So in Chinese weddings, the groom and his groomsmen must prove his love for the bride and make the bridesmaids feel like he's worth it by going through a series of uh, challenges and games. And uh, yeah, it just showed really funny clips of uh, them going through them. Derek making us wraps. After this drink, we ended up going to karaoke. And look how many beers there are. Derek telling us this is just the first round. Uh oh. Leo taking the mic with passion. So we survived the late night karaoke and we're on day five. Now we're off to Wuzhen or otherwise known as the water town. Wuzhen was my favorite location in this whole China trip. There was a classic Mongolian performance and we got pictures with them, which is cool. So Wuzhen is famous for displaying traditional Chinese festival type theater. So just like this one, which is a uh, traditional glove puppetry. So you know me, I love doing that typical foreigner stuff, you know? So Leo showed us a place where we can dress up and take photos. So enjoy the photos with my modern Converse shoes. Side note, when we showed these photos to our US friends, they told us that they thought we got married. So after the photo shoot, we all decided to eat and we ate at this famous lamb noodle shop and the lamb noodles, amazing. Highly recommend it if you ever go to Wuzhen. So like I said, there's a lot of street performances. There's this guy with a huge puppet. And he reached for me. And I felt enlightened.
So another fun thing we did was to ride the boats and see the amazing historic water houses and take a lot of photos as well as to laugh at all the other tourists on land as they're not worthy to ride the boats. I'm kidding. So here we are at the White Lotus Tower, and Ruby's gonna flip the coin. And she did it! Yeah, as long as you. So when we were leaving Wuzhen, we passed through this large lavender field, and I'm sure it looks amazing during the spring. I want to thank my friend Leo for organizing the whole Wuzhen trip and giving us a tour there. So if you ever need a tour guide for that area, contact Leo, he's the best. Now we're going to take the train to Hangzhou to get some dinner at Heidi Lao with my friend Kelvin and his girlfriend. I just want to apologize to them that we were so late to the dinner, but it was great seeing you guys there. <laughs> then they threw me a birthday surprise. Then Terrence hooked us up a reservation to a nice hotel. Thanks, T-Boy. Then we learn about this machine. So this is a delivery bot. So a delivery man puts the food in the little compartment, right? And then inserts the room number. And then the delivery bot does the rest. So we need this in the US right now. Day six, here we are. We're at the West Lake, the famous West Lake in Hangzhou. What? This is awesome. There are three little pagodas, and if you line it up just right, it would be the same image on the one you on bill. So if you're ever at Westlake, try to find the three little pagodas, because it's a pretty famous site. What is it? Why is it famous? I don't know. 
that tower there is the if you've heard of the legend of the white snake that's her tower Terence is Rolls Royce. Very nice. Wow. So when visiting Hangzhou, you have to go to this restaurant. Terence and Derek both love it, and now I love it. Find the Chinese Kung Fu. Can we use it? That's a bus, bro. That's a bus. So Derek was telling me all his knowledge about Tai Chi, and we busted out laughing because he said, Do you hear that music? That's Tai Chi music, bro. And a second later, it was a bus playing the music in the background, so he was straight up lying. Oh, this is famous. We gotta take this. So now we're gonna take the train from Hangzhou to Shanghai. And this Hangzhou rail station has so many tracks, it's huge. So now we're at the shopping district of Shanghai, and it looks exactly like Times Square, but we don't have that little train taking us from shop to shop. We need that. So for dinner, we ate at Maria, which is a Sichuan restaurant, and Derek went easy on us about the spicy food, so it's pretty good. And I never had authentic Sichuan food, so it was a great experience. So later that night, we went to a speakeasy called Speak Low. It's definitely one of my favorite speakeasies I've gone to. But there's this one drink that costs 1,900 yuan, which is around 275 US dollars. That's nuts! Day 7, our last day in China last day meaning souvenir day so we went to the famous Tianzi Feng market to get souvenirs to take back Got some nice nougats. Of 
course, I had to get some white rabbit. We also got a paper portrait from a paper cutting master. So this mall has the best food court that I've ever seen. So they literally have everything and everything looks so good. Yo, you can even have Joe's Pizza in Shanghai. One shop that I want to point out is Yang's Dumplings. If you're ever in Shanghai, you have to try Yang's Dumplings. It's so good. This pastry wrap is really good too. Unfortunately, this is where our China trip comes to an end. But definitely won't be my last trip to China for sure. I'd like to say thanks to Derek and Terrence for being an excellent tour guide and dealing with me the whole trip. If you made it through this video, props to you. This is a long video. I hope you enjoyed at least some of the clips. Here I'm at Burger King, just so I can readjust for America. 13 hour flight. <sighs> China was fun. And as Terrence says it best, it's too big. <laughs>